Hi, 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 and welcome to LNA Does Audio Stuff. Hey, welcome to another video where I explain music production stuff in four minutes. And today's stuff is EQ. What it is, what are frequencies, and what is EQ used for? Let's go into it. Also, subscribe, remember. <laughs> okay, here we go. Four minutes start now. Okay, so what is EQ? EQ is basically a tool that allows us to uh, analyze frequencies. It allows us to customize frequencies, cut them, add resonance into the, our frequencies, and it's the frequencies of the signal. I'm going to explain frequencies just in a minute, but also EQ has these different bands that can, allows us to cut or customize and all like mold our frequencies of the signal. So what is a frequency, you ask? Okay, well, frequency can be shown. I can literally show you a frequency because in here on the wavetable, I have a sine wave. And if I play the sine wave, you can see one pure sine wave, which is one frequency. Let me play a couple more. There we go. We have beautiful harmonics of a sound, or we can also have harmonize, ha harmonies of a sound. So there are two slightly different concepts, and I have other videos where I'm explaining them in a little bit more depth. But now we have no time. Okay, so as you could see, there is sound and the har harmonics of this sound. And these are frequencies that we can now cut and mold and make interesting. And why do we want to do that? So example, let's say that we have a, a drum beat here. As you can see here, we have a lot of stuff happening in the low end, a lot of happening in the high end. So you can see that this actual drum loop kit is just not in one area of the frequency range. Then if we have example female fo vocal here. Standing in the rain, feather down in my brain, I was doing silly things. That again, there's a lot of happening in here in the mid area from 200 to kind of 800 and a lot of happening in a high area, in the high end. So basically what we want to use, especially mixing, what we want to use uh, EQ for is to separate different tracks from each other in the frequency range, in the frequency spectrum. And why is that? It's because of thing called masking. So example, if you've heard uh, a thing called muddy mix, that is basically where too many items, too many instruments, too many vocals are in the same area of the frequency range. So they're all battling for the space in the frequency range. Because if there's too many of them, they basically cancel each other out if they're in the same frequency area. So, example in a vocal like this. Standing in the rain, feather down in my... You can see that there's still a lot of happening even in the low end, even though the most important parts for the vocals happen here in the mid range and the high end. So basically what that means is that we can remove some frequencies from this vocal to leave space for other things like the kick in the drums. So we can go here and add a little filter in the mid here, so a little notch there. And then we can go and add a high pass filter into the low end, which means that we can actually cut everything else from the low end. We only have the important bits here, and then we have the important bits in the high end. We can also just go to here and add a little bit of resonance here. But the good rule of thumb is that as Especially as a beginner, you always cut more than you add. Standing in the rain, feather down in my brain. Oh. So, standing in the rain, feather down in my brain. That sounds interesting. And then we have the drums. And in here, you know, we can leave space for the vocals. So example, do we need area uh, frequencies in the mid area here where the vocals were? Standing in oh. Standing in the rain, feather down in my brain I was doing silly things just to make you look at me Standing in Something like that. Yes, 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 time is gone. Okay, so that's basically it. So you basically cut away from other frequencies, other uh, tracks to make room for other ones in the other tracks. I have a full 
mixing course explaining this in further further detail so the link to the free mixing course down below it's on my channel as well also i have other videos of eq8 explaining all these different bands really much detail explaining stereo eq mid-side eq and everything so go to the links down below to learn more about eq learn more about frequencies and how you can utilize eq example in mixing thank you also so much for my patreons who are always here for me they are so supportive and we have such an amazing group of people there if you want supportive like-minded group to chat audio with then come to my patreon because everybody's welcome literally everybody Thank you so much. Subscribe, hit the bell icon so, you, so, I can, so that you can see a lot more content like this. And see you next time. Bye.